All right, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Um, when you look at and you compare how things went down with 9-11 and how everything was in order all the way to the fight with Afghanistan, with the fight with Iraq, the whole world was together, everyone was on the same page. This time with COVID-19, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like everyone's on the same page. Trump is saying one thing, another party with Bill Gates is saying another thing, and, you know, countries are in in disarray, so there is, there. it seems like the elite doesn't have a consensus about this whole situation, because it's a big step. And one thing that they've learned, this is now the main point, one thing that they have learned is that no one event is enough. 9-11 is not enough. COVID-19 is not enough. What they need to do is they need to create, they have now going to learn and they have learned and the Chinese are going to teach them a lot about how to deal with this because if you study the Israeli-Chinese connection in all of this, um, which inshallah ta'ala I will have one brother that's a, that has spent a lot of time studying this come on and talk to us about that. But where will things end up? Okay, They're already doing, they already are taking advantage of this uh, situation to do certain testing. So one of the places, of course, they're going to test is the Muslim world. And so let me show you this and then you can uh, decide for yourself on how this is. This so now I'm just going to go on the website. And you can use this for doing essential shopping, to go to the doctor, or to go and get medical supplies. So we go for next. I'm going to use my national ID here, which is linked up to my mobile phone. To select my transport type, I'm going to go by car. I need to put in some other data, like the date and the time I want to go. Request is now pending with the Dubai police. So I've got my uh, permit now. It took five minutes to come through on my phone. You can leave the house in 15 minutes' time to go shopping. If I went out without this permit, I could go find around six. Now it's mandatory when you go outside to wear a mask and some gloves. Now that my car is registered on the permit system, it means that I can drive through police checkpoints and I won't get a fine if I go through a radar. It limits the amount of people that can go outside during the outbreak because there's now a 24 hour curfew in place. And you're just meant to have one family member going. And you should bring your children. If you want to do exercise, you can't go outside. If you want to walk your dog, no. One man called a local radio station the other day and asked if he could apply for a permit so that he could see his second wife. And the police said no. So it's quite limited what you can use it for. Okay. So, what is the point? This is what one world, this is a part of what one world government will look like. They're using some places to force vaccines. They're going to use some places to, you know, create a police state and see what the human reaction is. Right? Imagine if you're like super rich and this is just giving you ideas. It is called 
disaster capitalism disaster capitalism this disaster you know uh one of the great uh, political scientists of the western world machiavellic i think is i have a hard time saying his name but basically he said every every disaster is an opportunity so that's how certain people think this is how they think they think well here's a disaster what are my opportunities here and how can i further consolidate everything to the type of power that they want that this video was showing right now what's interesting i'll want to end with this the quran hints towards this global government three times in reference to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and his deen that he was sent with it is Allah who sent his messenger, right? Because the Prophet was sent for all humanity. Now they're going to create a one world government. And instead of changing every government, every government, every government, when finally things happen, we will also need to change one that one government. You know, because it's like, it's like uh, when somebody studies something, right? And they put it on the internet, it's there for everyone. Now they're going to create a one world government so from the, uh, the Zionist world government, it'll change into the just world order, which is the Khilafah of the Muslims, which the Prophet told us about. Allah sent his messenger with Al-Huda, the Qur'an, which is the main purpose of Ramadan, is to connect with Qur'an. And the true just order, Deen al-Haq, the, the system that is on justice, لِيُذْهِرَهُ to make him dominated عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّ over the deen, over that system in the singular form. Because before this world order, there are many adhyan, there are many ways of life, many systems. عَلَى رَسُولَهُ هُوَ الَّذِي أَرْسَلَ رَسُولَهُ بِالْهُدَى وَدِينِ الْحَقِّ لِيُذْهِرَهُ عَلَى الدِّينِ كُلِّ وَلَوْ كَرِيهَ الْمُشْرِكُونَ No matter how much the people who associate partners with Allah dislike this. So this one world is coming. In the phase after that, this one world government will be changed into a just world order. And that is also coming. So, inshallah ta'ala, I want all of you to tell me, what do you want to do for Ramadan? Uh, last year, if you go, I did the Juz 1 through 15, the explanation of that. This year, I was thinking that I'll probably, uh, one of the ideas came to my mind is just to go over the vocab, not really much explanation. Another idea that came to my mind was to just read an English translation of the Quran and to do that for the whole month. And then, you know, we can talk a little bit about certain aspects that relate to a lot of the subjects that we talk about. Uh, so if you guys have any ideas of what you would like to see this Ramadan, uh, and I'm not even sure how many days I can do 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 uh, programs, but in general, if we had all 30 days or even 20 some days, uh, what should we do? What are some ideas that you have? Inshallah, share that with me. Jazakumullah khairan. Please uh, share and subscribe. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Make sure to subscribe today and make sure you like and make sure you leave your comments and ideas.